Oh my gosh, are you guys there? <laughs> are you guys there still? <laughs> Those of you guys that hung out know that there could be technical difficulties. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you there? <laughs> oh my goodness, I had to drive all the way away and then I had to restart my phone and then I was like, it's still going. <laughs> Oh my gosh, if they left, like 60 some people there, if they left, like, where'd they go? Did they, how would you even know if the stream's still going? Oh my gosh, what? So, now you know. Let's just say you hung out for 20 minutes. I, I understand, just, just get out of there. But I will be doing the best I can to get the heck out of where I'm at, restart my phone. I'll always do that's our backup plan now, okay? So from now on, our backup plan is if Dee Dee glitches out, unless I'm on a boat, okay? If I'm on a boat in the ocean, don't think I'm running over to the land. <laughs> oh, you can check everything out at myfavoritegroomer.com or dogupstand.com, but most of Dee Dee is going to be on myfavoritegroomer.com. Good night, Makio. So I am now sitting at the side of the road. I, I don't know what happened. I just think it was the location. And, and what's funny is they're not 10 minutes out of city limit. Like, the, <laughs> what? It was well, who is that? Mama Didi? What's up, Mama Didi? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so I'm driving. I've got you guys on my tripod. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I'm trying. I'm re reconnect, reconnect. Re it does this reconnect thing. YouTube does this reconnect thing like every four minutes or three minutes it gets it's trying it's trying and so i'm like okay i need to like reboot my phone right so i finally get to a point where i'm like okay i gotta pull over i got out of that area thinking that wi-fi would just leave alone like i'm on my cell phone so i'm not trying to get wi-fi it needs to be off you know what i mean but my you know your cell phones are doing its own thing sometimes and i turn it on it's still doing this and that anyway how fun was that is that crazy you guys were all trying to do the same thing. You guys, I got to see this. Man, I got to see this. Well, I told you it was going to go fast. So we got in there, right? And it was like, boom, boom, boom. Because the first dog, Dean, oh, oh, I should have let him. I should have, next time, next time I'll ask. I should have let, I should have asked, let, can we remove the towel? Because you remove the, t listen, for, I get it. Um, I do get it that they want a towel to cover up the face and everything. That's their call. If it were a towel, also, you know how I throw a towel over that pit bull I did his nails? I threw a towel over, but I didn't really like cover his whole head and face. Just something to get uh, his eyes, like just, you know, this, this shadow that happens right here. Like right there, right? Just so that he's looking at me like, what are you grabbing? Here I am, right? Grabbing his, here's my face. So I want him not to really see that up here stuff. I want him to just see the towel in his face. I'll do something like that. But when it comes to say covering the whole face and talent, that's not my thing. That's the pet parent want to do that. I just hurt. I just hurry up. I just try to hurry up. So a nail trim probably was like less than three minutes, but a dog can bite through the muzzle and that dog, Dean, that dog would probably bite my entire tip of my nose off if he got a good like imagine just chunk just gone because there's a few times where it was like well, that was close that was close call you know when dad would help and dad um his wrist he would always wear a brace and i would and and a couple times he was like hurry up Dee, Dee! and i'm and i'm fast right so i was like okay <laughs> He'd be like, hurry up, Diddy. And like, I know the dog is hard on his hand, bad, like bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hear it in my head, hurry up, Diddy. And his, and so when they said the son-in-law was doing it, holding the dog, I was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So if you are working with your own animal and you get to a point where it's too much, you gotta ask for help or backup or something. Because it, the dog, the weight, the anger, the aggression, the rowdiness, oh, you know what I'm saying? So you guys that just got back, um, I've been talking for like six minutes now or so. Thanks a lot for staying around. 
and being here with me. And I thought this would be really cool that you guys got. I never, like, I, I've i done one. What are these folks doing? People all over the place. That lady's walking. I don't know. I don't know and that lady's doing the lawn. And that guy's doing his lawn. And I'm in, pulled over on the side of the road. Okay. Um, I forgot where I was going with it. Where was I going with it? I thought the fee. What? Thanks for showing us. You're so welcome. I thought the feed was lost too. I had to get out of that area, reboot my phone, turn off the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything. I had to turn everything off. And boom, there it was, you guys. I was there. You guys were. <laughs> Mary Ellen, that's so cute. Mary, that's so, Mary Kay, that's so cute. That guy almost got hit. Ooh. Let, boom. <laughs> boom is right. That guy almost got hit. Did you hear it? It picked up. It was still trying to reach it, trying to reconnect, reconnect. It was trying to reconnect until I finally pulled over and I was like, okay, I got to get out of here, right? So I hustled out of there and I wasn't speeding. And then I got to a place where I could pull over and I was like, okay, it's not, it's not wanting to reconnect. It's like, you know, glitched in. It glitches in a reconnect. So you got to be smarter than troubleshoot. So the next thing is, okay, let me, let me reboot my phone. Worst case scenario, I lost you guys, right? So yay, we're here. It's still feeding. We didn't lose it. You guys are so cute. 90 degrees here. Um, it's 84 degrees and it's in 6.30 p.m. Dana, thanks for the donation. Donation is like you contributing to the feed. Like you are part ownership of this feed, man. This is like part of your, you. You are bringing this entertainment to other people. You know what I mean? Like without your donations i groom over here to groom and pay the bills for grooming the youtube does what it does so that it pays for the youtube bills there are youtube bills and then you hope hopefully you have two or three jobs because man we can't make it those of you all that don't have a job that can have a job you need to have two or three jobs just like i do you know this stuff is it's hard to make it david was like how are you gonna live on that you can't live on that Can't anyone see? I can't. It's stuck. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hopefully it's not stuck. But we're going to close up the feed here in just a couple minutes. I wanted to be able to show you this nail trim. How In my head, I was like, I wish I could just hang. That's, the, that's exactly what would happen. I would take you guys out for a 10-hour work day. And half the day would be trying to figure out how to get the feed back. Because my I think part of it is my phone was hot. It's so weird. Deanne, woohoo! You're owning today. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm gonna start saying that. So it's a requirement to like the video. Oh my gosh! I, now I hear that. Why is it a requirement? That was funny that day. Remember that? I was like, because I'm saying it's a requirement. Why is it a requirement? <laughs> well, I'm just saying it's a requirement. So in your head, it's like, oh, Dee Dee said it's a requirement. Ding ding. <laughs> right? Oh gosh, phone tantrums are a pain in the bum. That woman's over there doing the lawn all by herself, and there's a motorcycle. Man, don't even get me started. Do you see? I don't want to be up in her business. She's wearing a hat right there. She's doing the lawn all by herself, and there's a motorcycle. Well, maybe she's a motorcycle rider. I have a, I have a motorcycle license. Hmm. I'm going to go see. It looks like she needs some help, man. Okay, hold on. Let's see if she needs help. I will run over there. Okay, she's 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 pulling the bag together. Okay, she's okay now. <sighs> so I'm gonna. Man, yeah, she doesn't. Is she next time? She's pulling that trash around but it should be a team effort man you guys it should be a team effort if she can if she looks like she needs help i'm gonna go over there and help her you know how people are like what are you doing woman i'm just trying to help you man okay fine help me but you're being weird 
Is that a woman? Yeah, it's a woman. She is wearing a face mask though. <laughs> That's awesome. She's doing a lot. She's wearing a face mask. Oh, that was a nice, that was a chrome Camaro. Oh, what? Corvette. Oh, that was a chrome, all chrome Corvette. Whoa. Maybe he is cooking dinner, let's ask. I kind of want to ask now, don't you? She gonna think I'm a nutcase. Let's go turn around. I don't. You know I will. Here we go. Let's go back right now. My reverse. We'll ask and then we'll go. Okay, I'll ask her, and then I'll let you guys go. You never know. Her husband could have gotten in an accident, just like Cynthia, that whole situation. Okay, I'm gonna carry the phone with me, but don't, you guys don't say anything. Don't act a fool, okay? Okay, okay, hold on, I'm gonna go over here. Maybe I should turn around. These people are gonna be like, why is she pulling out in front of my yard? What is she doing out there? nervous for me she's mowing the lawn I'm gonna say do you need some help no that's okay thanks and then I'm gonna say I'm sorry to bother you is your husband cooking dinner that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that okay 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 got the plan okay here we go we'll turn around turn around right here okay, hold on. I mobile groomed all day today they were all big dogs <laughs> and one of them I know you've seen the Instagram pictures. She's gray. She's like a Weimariner. She's getting so old. We have to change the way we do the bath. So next month when we go out there, I'm going to install a shower head, a shower hose, and I'm going to wear my bathing suit and I'm going to bathe. Her name's Abby. I'm going to bathe Abby in their bathtub. We kind of, I said, we'll play it by ear. We'll do this one first. If it doesn't work, we'll try it out. Something else. She can't hardly stand up anymore. So we, we're doing that. I'm gonna leave the truck running as if I'm just running in here, okay? Hold on. Hold on here. This stupid thing. This stupid thing. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Just just play it by ear. Just play it by ear. Okay, hold on. She got to I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> Right, right. So I just, I'm, I drive by here a lot. So I'll swing by and say, give you my name and stuff. Okay. Okay. If you need help, I'll help you. We can knock it out real fast. All right. Is your yeah. husband inside cooking dinner for you? Is that? I hope so. He he edged already. Oh, so. okay. So he's edged and he left you. He has a real a lot of hard issues. Oh, so does he? he? Has, like, oh. he has, <gasps> That's so funny. I was just thinking that. Arteries. That's what made me stop. I was like. A lady I'm taking care of, kind of helping, a client, friend of mine, she just had open heart surgery. So I was like, well, maybe her husband has a lot of heart problems like Cynthia. Well, and so, he does, and he has diabetes, and he has chronic kidney disease. So he form. can't do much. Mm -hmm. he just, he what do you mean, mouth, chronic he what? Kidney disease. Stage four? Yeah. Oh, so gosh. Dialysis is the next thing. Oh, so. my God. Is it, dialysis is for sure in the picture? Oh, yeah. It's for sure. It's it's the next. Oh, yeah. th it's he not like not. if we don't do this, we don't get dialysis. You have to get dialysis next. Oh, he'll get dialysis or he'll go in the break. So. Here, um, my name's Dee Dee. Dee. I'm gonna say a prayer for you. Uh, Rebecca. Rebecca. And, and I, I'm thinking right now, I should not be speaking these things because I'm reading um, Charles Cap 
about um, what you should should not say. <laughs> okay, so here, let's just. I'm going to say a prayer for you. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, please watch over Rebecca and her husband and her husband. Please give him a strong heart through all the battle that he's going through right now. Please keep him from off of dialysis. Lord, please just come into their lives and flip them upside down. I don't know why I came over here on my YouTube channel right now, but I had to come over here and see if she needed some help. And she does. And she needs you, God. And her family needs you. And you just, gosh, you just come into their life and just bless them and be with them. Lord, please be with them. Protect them. In Jesus' name, amen. Ah. You. Rebecca, I'll holler at you, okay? Bye. Oh my goodness. What? What? Did I not call it? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Did I just get that on video? Those guys over there are looking at me like I'm a freaking idiot. Look. Those two guys right there. <laughs> oh, they're looking at me. They said, what just happened? Man, did you just hear all that stuff going down for real? What did I say before I went over there? I was like, maybe, maybe her husband's having heart problems. Did you guys hear me? Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, God. God, help with his family. Oh, we gotta go. We're crying right in front of her and everything. Bye, Rebecca. Okay, all right, let's roll down here. I can't leave you on that note, can I? Oh, gosh. I was having fun with it. You guys were having fun with it, too, right? Oh, my gosh. I was having fun with it big time, man. I was joking, but I would have helped her, you know. I think I did help her. I'll never look at that house the same. Will you? Will you look at that corner house the same ever? I'll never look at her the same. Out there mowing the lawn. Look at that. Look at how it, all the things that went through my head. And you guys were like, oh, husband better be cooking breakfast. Husband better be cooking breakfast. Exactly. And then look what we saw. Look what we, what, we went and got some facts. Remember? Remember I said, let's go find out. Remember the other day I said, get the truth, get the facts. What? Are you just shook up like I am right now? Or am I the only one? let him go am I the only one that shook up or are you guys shook up are you guys shook up did that just shake you up man this is not where I'm supposed to be I have something else I need to go do right now Woo! am I shook up I, I had to stop and just like I was just I could have just started bawling right there. I had to really just contain it a little bit. Tears and this and that. I mean, because we're all going through something. Some going through much more than others. Obviously. She said. I don't know if y'all know what dialysis is. I know a little bit because this is how I know. I worked out at Planet Fitness right next to um, DIA or something like that. I don't even know, like, no, 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 right? But um, I was working out at Planet Fitness, and it was right next to a DIA whatever. And it has this really cool logo. It's all blue and everything. And uh, one day I decided to, my stupid butt, I decided, I was like, it's such a nice day. I don't want to um, run inside the gym. So I think this is a really bad, Davida, thank you. Um, really bad part of town. I don't even care. I don't even look at it like that. I know that the housing is different in different sides of town. And some of y'all might be like, let's go to the ghetto. I mean, come on. We've watched those movies and we've driven through, you know, what we would call a ghetto where I can't define the ghetto, but it's a term that's out there, urban, urban term. And 
as a realtor, I'm not going to be like, let's go to the ghetto. As a real estate agent, I'm going to tell you different things about, which is facts. I'm going to tell you facts about neighborhoods that um, the housing market is doing this and that. So I'm working out at this Planet Fitness and I decide when I get there, I'm going to work outside, work out outside at that place. So I go out to the back. I clip my purse with a little clipper onto the fence around the trash bin, the dumpster, just to hang my backpack there. And I decide to do sprints up and down. Do you not know, like, just in a second, that cop was like, rrr, beep, woo. And I was like, what? What are you doing? And I was like, I'm prior military. What's up? You know? And he was like, do you not know how dangerous it is out here? You need to get out of here. And I said, what? I was like, it's such a beautiful day. I was like, I really want to run outside, but I'll run, do sprints out here. He goes, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. And this is where, I mean, I wasn't like far out of town or anything, but right next to that, the cop says, this is Davida. This is Davida. This is where you get dialysis. And they have a lot of stuff worth a lot of money there. And I am here for Planet Fitness and this building to protect it because it gets a lot of theft and this and that and this and that. And what is Davida? Davida is where you go get blood transfusions because you're, you know, trying to work, get that heart and this and that. I don't even still know, obviously, all that you get with dialysis, but that's like taking your blood out and pumping it back in. Am I right? Is that what it is? And it's like, so I thought I never looked at that Davida ever the same ever again. So I was like, okay, dialysis. So then I watched some documentaries on some dialysis. And this, when you get dialysis, it is basically one step away from death. It is, it's, it's almost like one step away from death. It's so painful and it tears you down and you may not recover. So when she said that, my heart was, my mind was like, what? Like now I heard death, you know, now I heard this is the end and this is, right? It's so, so sad. And so for me to run over there and be like, she goes, well, I'm almost done now. That, that word, I'm going to tell you how to read people's thoughts in their mouth, how they tell you. She says, I'm almost done now means I wish you were here an hour ago. So you're dang straight. So come like, I'm going to, matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have my, my, my grass guys do her lawn for her. Watch. I'm going to have my grass guys do her lawn for her. That's what I'm going to do. Because me and her both will be out there going, oh, 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 in this heat. And you know what? And knowing that now, we only have a couple more. I mean, it's August, September. So October, I used to always have this Halloween pet, which I, I'm really thinking about having this year. I used to have a yearly Halloween pet party. And the third... I'd have to go back and look. I mean, I did it for over five years. I mean, I was like on it. The third Thursday or the third, I think it was the third Wednesday of October, it's cold. Like, boom, it's cold. It like blows in and it's 30 degrees wind. And it's like, oh. So we only have a few more lawn mow days and then they get to ride out winter. You know, no, they don't have to do the lawn anymore. So when, um, the next time I watch, I'm going to watch, she's on the corner. I'm going to drive by there every day. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to do the, I'll have her lawn done. Just easy peasy. You know what I mean? And I'm just sharing that with you. Cause this is all happening here. If I was by myself, I'm not going to come tell you guys I'm doing her lawn. There's uh, tons of other things, other ways you and your, your world can invest in people in your community. So we all have an easier life. <laughs> Isn't that what we should be doing? We should be trying to make each other have an easier life, a better life, a more successful life, a richer life, whether it's physically, mentally, or financially, right? And you take care, let me tell you, I feel like this, this is my opinion. If you were to make, make help someone get rich and you know that their heart's good, you know that their richness will be spread amongst other people. They're never going to sit there with millions in their bank account going, I'm better than you and I'm doing well off for myself. I'm going to make sure people around me in my community are doing well off too, right? But there are, and we don't look at it like this, like this, you know, I'm not a, like a celebrity, right? But me and you, we know each other. We talk. Unfortunately, um, 
your favorite celebrity, I don't want to call anybody out because then you'll know who I have an addiction watching. No, uh, your favorite celebrity is not communicating with you like this, right? So we invest, mil they, these folks, these celebrities make millions, right? Because they're actors, but you don't even know what they're really doing. But you invest in them going to the movies. I just went to a movie the other day. You go into the movies, you know, you invest in your favorite people and you have no idea. Like R. Kelly, I don't even want to talk about R. Kelly. I followed that whole story. I was so upset with myself for always listening to R. Kelly when I was growing up. I don't even want to talk about it. But what I'm saying is you invest in people for their, for what makes them popular, music, their movies, whatever, right? Am I not right? And then we, I'm not upset by it. I'm happy those guys are millionaires on it. They're on it. They made themselves millionaires and get that they're great actors and actresses and all. I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is, is what are they, where are they investments at? You know what I mean? Think about that for a minute and never feel bad for investing in something like me or like her or him or them or you or they that are doing great things for people that you can see yourself with your own two eyes and you can hear it. I can tell you right now, I do not know anything about Jennifer Lopez and I love her. I love her acting. I love it. And I've, I've watched a lot of movies. I've bought VHS tapes. I have invested in her, right? But what is, what are the, cho you don't know the choices they're making and me and you are, we are, we all decided for me to run over there, didn't we? <laughs> you feel, this is something different. This is the 2000, 19, 20, 20, 2000, right now, it starts right now. This is live TV, baby. This is live TV. This is where you take your audience with you in your life choices. Do you hear me? You're here with me. And I was talking to you and I said, hey, you guys, I'm going to run over there. You're like, nah, I don't hear I'm scared for you. What were you I got to go back and read it all over. I got to go back and read it. You're like, no, no, I'm worried about, I'm worried about you. This and that, blah, 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 right? What were you guys saying? Oh my gosh, what were you guys saying? You're like, oh gosh, you know, Didi's were freaking Didi's. You're looking around too, right? I know you're looking around. You're not even here. You're like, oh gosh, Didi, I don't know what you're doing, man. Just don't get, don't, don't, don't. That person's looking at me. She's looking back. What's up? <laughs> she waved. <laughs> Look, she, that person looked, looked, looked back, waved. <laughs> no, I didn't see it all because I'm running with the phone on my breast, okay? But. I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Right. And then I'll, I told you guys how I was going to do it too. I was like, I'm going to say this and that, this and that. And then I'm going to say, your husband's cooking dinner. Right. And boom. Ah, oh, man. What, it, what is she going through right now? And you know what she said? My husband just edged. He came out and edged. And I said, that's all he's got playing around. Right. That's all he's got. That's all he can do. She said. So you invest in people you love and don't let anyone stop you, including your local radio stations. You know, those, those folks that you love listening to. I, I need to do some investing myself because there's been some really great church radios that I've been listening to. And it says donate and that and that. I need to take the time. You can't be driving around donating, but I want to make something happen. You know, those people that influence you and help you through your day, help you get through what you're going through. You should, and, and they're doing something. They need that income to continue doing their radio station, right? I'm totally like, yep, I hear them every day. They were doing a fundraiser yesterday, a fundraiser today. And today happens to be North Texas Giving Day, which means I should probably go make a something something tonight before it's over. NorthTexasGivingDay.org. But yeah, invest in uh, businesses that they're only in business to be there for you. So if they just like restaurants we talk about it if you start having a different favorite restaurant don't you know favorite restaurant one number one might close down uh what was it a week ago like i drove by six or seven places and i all i actually you know what it was a week ago i had to go to some real estate um real estate classes and i went to a real estate convention you guys didn't know about this i was gonna show you share with you but That'll be on my other channel, so you guys need to go make sure you subscribe to Didi Croy, the Didi Croy by itself, because I'm going to have some other stuff out there for you with the real estate, you know, fun, other, other things. And I walked by a restaurant. I went, you know, those real cute mom and pop restaurants with the chairs outside and the umbrella. 
and I walked to park and I walked back and I hadn't been there in years. And I had to, I had it like, you know, I, uh, like a miss. It was like a miss. A-M-I-S-S. -S, like I was a miss when I glanced down the street and that restaurant was closed. And I, th I did a double take and I still didn't believe it. And I walked all the way down to the restaurant and I just stood there and I looked at it and I looked around where all the patio chairs used to be and I peered inside. And what I'm, what I'm telling you is that nothing ever lasts forever. So if you are here and you want to invest, invest. If you want to be a part of donating, donate. And if it's not here, it's over there or over there or over there or that channel or that channel or that radio station or that public this and that or that or in your community or your local restaurant or your local this because the the things that make you happy and keep you alive you have to keep it alive you it's a it's like a we both have to invest right i have to invest my time with you and you have to invest your time with me right I know I went off on that. I went off on a little bit there, but gosh, it really made me re realize some things. Yeah, rarely do you talk to your neighbors, so um, don't be afraid to talk to your neighbors, okay? So we're so disconnected right now. We don't even know someone's suffering next door, and that's why he's shooting people. I mean, go, go try. If trying gets you hurt, yeah, trying can get you hurt. She could have slapped me. I mean, she could have been like, get up. I've had that happen. What are you talking about? Leave me alone. Don't tell me anything. Okay. Like you never know what reaction you're going to get. So be careful. But if she just shut me down, I would have been like, you know, yeah, it's not about money. It's not all about money, but if my favorite restaurant wants to stay alive, I promise you I have to buy a drink there or a, a meal. <laughs> YouTube doesn't, isn't free, you know. YouTube's not free. Having the equipment to do YouTube's not free. So you have to look at all of it. You have to look at, you have to have common sense and sit down and go, what is the struggle? Let me, you will only know when you do that, right? And when Jesus tells you to go, you go. And Jesus can be funny about it. Jesus is not sitting there going, I don't know, what are you doing? He's laughing. He's having fun. You know, he wants you to have fun. Jesus wants you to have fun. Just because you believe in God and you're a Christian doesn't mean you have to be like, I can't do that. No. Depends on what it is. Right. Thanks, Lillian. Okay, you guys, I'm going to let you go for reals this time. We're talking about it's almost an hour. Oh. Uh, that was great. That was good stuff. Wow. How in one hour? Like, I think it was less than that because we've been chatting a bit more. I was happy laughing and crying in tears in like, what, five minutes. You and I both. You and I both. If you just got here, you missed a whole bunch of stuff. You got to go back. Go smash the like button and go back. Make sure you hit subscribe so we got you full time. I told you guys, Shh, don't do anything. Don't do anything. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> Wow, if you didn't watch the whole video, go back. Go back and start over from the beginning. It's good. Just get through the buffering. Something happened. What happens on... I'll have to go look myself later. Once you start buffering, something stops, I think. Time stops. And then we click back on. So maybe it just paused and then it just picked up right there. You'll be lucky if it does and you don't have to wait like 15 minutes. But I think it does. I think it just stops and starts again right away. Yeah, Deanne. I think Deanne, was that you that were like, was that you, Deanne, that said, I'm kind of worried for you? Oh my gosh. I love you guys. Thanks for sharing this moment with me. And thanks for meeting Rebecca, one of my neighbors. And we are going to check on Rebecca in a week or less. And um, I'm going to pay for her lawn to get mowed next time around. I'll be watching her lawn. I'm going to have to put it on my calendar every week. So before I don't forget, because I forget stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who said they were nervous? Kim said they were nervous. Okay. I love you guys so much. If you had fun with this video, even though you learned something with the nail trimming, holy moly, please share it. I think this could wake it, wake up some people, okay? Maybe wake up your mom or your dad. <laughs> All right. Love you guys. Share, share, share. I will see you soon. Thanks for being here. I love you. 
check me out at myfavoritegroomer.com and make sure you watch more videos and share, share. And we'll see you on Instagram, Facebook. Praying for all of you guys out there that need it, okay? You're in my prayers every single day. All right, love you guys. Ciao.